Hello, Shim Farm. Welcome to Market Shim Tanks. Uh, today's question is Has the ammonia from ADE Amazonia killed my shrimp? And the answer is. Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. Uh, today's video we're going to test this little tank that we did the other day. Oh, let's see, coffee, coffee. Mm. We are going to test the tank that we uh, put the little filter in the other day. We're going to test it for ammonia. I already know it has ammonia because I've, I mean I wouldn't make videos and then, then test stuff and then it not be right and then not be able to put the video up. So you guys know that I know that the ammonia is already present in the tank. But we're going to test it anyway. I have to show you guys. I need proof. Now you see, today I've remembered to put my overalls on. I actually washed my hands and stuff first as well, which is uh, pretty amazing for me. We're going to use an NH3, NH4 test kit in our aquarium. Um, yeah, and we'll see how much ammonia. Now, I've done this already, so I know there is ammonia. But as I said, we need to do it so you guys can see. And there is quite a fair bit of ammonia, guys. Uh, yeah, it is quite strong. I mean, ammonia itself in a tank, if it was this strong, any other tank, if I wasn't doing what I was doing, you, the garn, you can guarantee that the entire tank would be dead within hours. Right, are they all dead now? You'll just have to wait and see. Right, Shrimp Farm, we have our 5 mil, 10 mil of uh, water here. You can see here it's on the dot. Right, we have our little uh, solution bottles here, and we have to add six drops of each for each bottle right so it's quite easy to do like this just for a second and by the way thank you to you the subscribers that mentioned to me to cover this uh, paper with clear sellotape to waterproof it that's quite a nice idea do you think there's ammonia in this water let's get this lid off and then you guys can tell me what you think this reading is what do you think it is Looking at that water colour, it's actually a little bit slant. It's in between there, isn't it? Probably this one. Okay, so that's one milligram a litre at least. Uh, yeah, I would say it's, it's, it's somewhere in between one and five. It's not super accurate, this test kit, but it's still enough, guys. You can clearly see that we have ammonia from our ADA Amazonia. So guys, it is the moment of truth. We've seen that there is ammonia and quite a lot of it in that water sample. And um, we're gonna have a look here and we're gonna see if any of these shrimp are dead. Okay, let's have a little look. What do you guys think? Do you think it's affecting them at all? Let's talk about the tank first. The water is super, super clear compared to what it used to be. Um, since that video was made, guys, it's been about four days. Um, I can see quite clearly that the plants are loving all this extra uh, fertilizer that's in the water. Everything just seems to be greener. You can see the clarity of the water just looks awesome. Shrimp are very, very active. Look at that. They are very, very active guys, and I can honestly say, hand on heart, swear my parents' life kind of stuff, that I've not seen one single dead shrimp in this tank, not one. Right, so bear in mind the amount of water that we changed as well. Um, it was a lot, it was a way down here, remember? So it's pr you're probably talking 25, 30 litres of water in this size of tank. And we dripped it in, remember? So there's the key, drip it in. But why are they not dying? How are they still alive? Um, this amount of ammonia in the tank should kill all aquatic life, right? You'd think. Well, the reason, guys, is because, as I said as well, we, we talked about this in the initial video. I'm actually dosing Prime into this tank. I'm dosing Prime. That is how they're not dying. Prime binds ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, ammonium, and it also helps to bind uh, certain metals in the tank as well, right? So it's taken care of the whole filtration side of it already. Uh, doses, guys, as far as I can remember, 
is, I think it's 200, uh, 5 mil for 200 litres of water, dosing of prime, right, and then this tank, this tank is 50 litres, so that's a quarter of the dose, which is 1.25 uh, mil. Guys, I like to go a little bit overboard, so I'd try and go nearer 2 mil, and in fact, guys, that's what we're going to do right now, because we have another test for this, and the test is to see um, if us dosing prime affects the TDS because th this was something I was a little bit aware of before that if you're adding prime I think prime has some kind of salts in it if, you, if there's salts in it it's going to raise the TDS and I want to see by how much right so let's do that as a test right now Whoop. I do notice guys it's always better to do this test um, just out of the water's flow so I'm going to press hold here that's probably long enough normally this tank guys is about 250 US Micro Siemens see what it says <clears throat> so it has went up to 290 so there has been a slight increase right we're going to add our dose of prime and we're going to see if um, that increases as well I have a feeling that it is the prime that increases the TDS but guys again if things are gradual it doesn't affect the shrimp this is the key point so here we have our prime guys, um, I have ordered safe, I actually really love prime, really really love it, it's like a lifesaver for things in the shrimp room. So we're going to go with 2 mil, 2 mil is just to do it, it's almost like half a pipette. It's just cheaper if you go with Seachem, I think it's called safe isn't it? So we have our 2 mil here, we're going to add it to that tank guys, and we're going to restart our timer that's over here. And uh, we'll come back in five minutes and we'll see if it has affected the readings. Let's go. We're going to put this in near the filtration just because it will spread easier. Like so, clean out the pipette. And I'll be back, guys, in five minutes, right? And we'll see if our 290 US Micro Siemens has changed. Has the water gotten any harder? Here we go. Come on, I said I'll give it exactly five minutes. Yep, stop. Let's get our micro siemens meter here. Let's see, what was it guys? 290. Remember guys as well, some of you get confused with this in the chat and the comments. Um, I'm using Micro Siemens, right? it's not the same as TDS, right? so when I give you a reading in Micro Siemens, just half it, and that is the TDS. Let's see, is that on? Let's press hold, and this will be the moment of truth. We dosed 2 mil of prime into this tank. Did it affect the US Siemens? And it did. Wow, look at that. 2.98. Right, so it was 2.90. It's not to be, uh, don't be surprised at this though guys, because I'm pretty sure Prime has some type of salt in it anyway. This is what's binding stuff, right? Um, I have a bigger container of salt here. I don't think I've ever shown this on my channel, and I, and I don't for a reason. And that is this stuff here, sodium thiosulfate. Uh, this is great if you live in a country that has chlorine, chloramines. Um, this will help neutralize it. I'm not sure if it will neutralize chloramines actually guys. Just scrub that from the video mark because I think this just neutralizes chlorine. And again the reason I don't use it is because I don't actually have chlorine in my tap water but I may get other things so it's more uh, safer for me to use prime than this that only deals with chlorine. And as you can see guys, you can probably see in the bottom here, this is an actual salt. See the first name, sodium, here. So I have a feeling that Prime is made from something similar. It's not the same though, because uh, that stuff there only deals with chlorine as where Seekin Prime deals with ammonia, nitrates, nitrites, heavy metals, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a seat and we'll reflect. So there you have it guys, to answer the question, has ammonia from my ADA Amazonia killed my shrimp? The answer is no. They're very, very active and very much alive. Right, but how is that possible? Well. To start with, the prime has actually bound up all these harmful elements 
and it's bound them up in a way guys that it's still safe for uh, the shrimp but it's still they are still available for um, the filter as an example this, the, the elements are still available for bacteria and whatever else that wants to use it in the shrimp tank um, it just makes it so that they are not harmful in an aquatic environment for things like fish that's why people love it I'm not here trying to sell you prime by the way in case you thought that's what it was but guys I wouldn't have a shrimp room uh, without prime in it or seek them safe like I've ordered that's how much I love it I've actually ordered the bigger container that hopefully will last me for years I see a lot of you guys on the YouTubes uh, you use it as well and swear by it right so if it's good enough for all you guys it's definitely going to be good enough for the shrimp room now one of the telling tales will be guys is in coming weeks and months if it has actually affected um, the shrimp because you guys might not know this already but um, anything that you do to a shrimp tank it can take weeks for the effect to show on the shrimp right you might do a big water change you might have the parameters wrong and you might add it to the tank and uh, the shrimp won't like it right and this is where a lot of you guys will see like the ring of death as a, as a great example right and it may, might take weeks for that ring of death to finally kill the shrimp right it will try and molt and try and molt a little bit more or sometimes guys if you if you um, if you overfeed the shrimp there's an, another way that you will see this ring of death it's simply like a growth thing the shrimp inside is trying to grow it can't compensate boom tries to come out of its shell so that will be the telling point guys um, in probably another at least another two weeks I would imagine before I would say we were 100% back in the safe zone right so up until then I'll still have to dose prime every second day right? because it's in the instructions as well on prime that it says you have to dose it every 48 hours for it to be effective so I'll have to keep on adding prime to the tank in the meantime until we get past that point where um, our filters taking care of the ammonia and we're back into the green green safe zone because I would say right now I can see that the shrimp are fine right and I can see why you guys would have concerns but um, yeah I think we will be fine as long as we remember to dose our prime maybe they should use that as a catchphrase you will be fine this is remember as you remember to catch it by the way guys as well i've just noticed that i haven't worn my glasses this entire video i went to midnight mass last night and i had some wine from a goblet if any of you guys have watched that you will know what i'm talking about i'm not going to leave spoilers for anyone else but guys if you've enjoyed today's video then please leave me a massive thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and uh, i'll catch you all in the next one happy shrimp keeping love you all bye